Hey guys, um, it's been quite a while since I last made one of these unboxing videos um, and I actually don't really like making uh, videos that involve me opening a box up. Um, I like getting stuff of course, but when it comes to actually opening it, I like to um, do it by myself first rather than uh, you know, you're watching me uh, use one of these little Swiss Army knives to carve a box open. Um, but if you'd rather see me do that, then just let me know. Um, second change, of course, is you can you can see me now run just my hand talking, and hopefully that'll make things a bit more interesting. Uh, what I do have for you today is something which I probably should have filmed uh, myself unboxing, but um, I already kind of ruined my surprise. Um, I received a package from uh, Ubi, uh, Ubisoft recently, and um, as you probably know, at, at the moment, the game that everyone's talking about is Assassin's Creed Revelations. Um, I ordered a bunch of merchandise quite a while ago, and I just want to say a few things about merchandise first before I go on with um, my package. Um, merchandise is, is very interesting because it's often, you know, overpriced, gimmicky, and... Uh, you know, it's it's not that great, um, but a lot of things you can buy if you if you know you're looking for, and the you know the, the company you put a lot of effort into it will 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 be actually quite worth it. Um, I'm gonna show you a few things I've I've collected over the years. Um, some of these are from um, collector's editions, so they're not actually merchandise, but more like collector's items. Um, if you've seen my previous videos, you would have seen um, this on my desk. This is um. Um, a, a sculpture of uh, Napoleon. It's actually a kind of wood plastic kind of thing. Came with the um, Napoleon um, em Empress Edition, which you can see um, above here, right there. And it comes with this, this, this statue, which looks good, like it's a nice desk, you know, decoration, but you look really closely, it's it's actually not very high quality, I mean, the, the paint's very splotchy, you know, the detail is minimalistic, smash produced, so it's not going to be the same thing you make in, a, in an art class. In fact, you try to make this in art class, you probably like an F for it. So it's not that great, but it's nice and pretty. Um, you might get things like, um, um, I got this for the same package. This is in uh, the uh, um, Napoleon Total War collector's uh, pouch, and it's a pouch, obviously. It comes with it you know, as a diary as well, as you can you know, write things in it. Um, Okay, that's better. Okay, so you can write stuff inside. I've never used it, never will, but this is one of the, the cooler things. And if you bought, um, you know, like collector's versions of uh, Batman Arkham City, you might get, you know, figurines um, or statuettes. Or I remember the, the Halo Collector's Edition, you get a, a helmet shaped uh, DVD pack. Um, and those are really cool. Um, but it, in terms of actual merchandise where you buy from the store, um, some of these you can get easily from shops, but uh, some of these things you will uh, only get from the official website. So I'm going to show you some of these, um, these items I got. Now, uh, first two things I got were um, these novels from uh, um, from Oliver Bowden. These are the Assassin's Creed novels. Um, one's called Renaissance, one's called Brotherhood, and obviously, you know, one's based on Assassin's Creed 2, one's based on um, Brotherhood, which is a sequel. Um, now, unlike the, I haven't actually read these yet, um, I've read some reviews about these and these are quite good from what I've heard, and they're nice and long too, so this is great bedside reading. Um, what, what's different uh, from what I've heard is, um, as you know from the Assassin's Creed series, uh, the main character, the player character, Desmond Miles, is based in the future and he's reliving his past through the Animus. Um, these stories have nothing to do with uh, Desmond, but instead it talks mainly about, uh, in fact, uh, exclusively about Ezio Adatora's adventures. So that's something that uh, you might pick up from your bookstore, but I, I, I owed a bunch of stuff and I thought I might as well pick it up now. Um, what was more interesting, which you can't really get anywhere else, was um, well, firstly, we go through um, this. This is the Assassin's Creed Encyclopedia. Right? The ACE stands for Assassin's Creed Encyclopedia. Duh. Um, and what's interesting, it comes in this kind of civil bag. And this is what I talk, mean, mean by the experience of opening, um, you know, a new package. Um, it comes as a like a, you know, like a, like a sterile, you know, fail-safe, you know, untouchable object. In fact, if you look at the back here, you can see the Abstergo logo as well as a warning. Um, fragile handle with care. Now, obviously, it's not real, but you know, it's just just the, the appearance of it. it. Looks like something like you know, like a hard drive, and you know, it looks really um, you know, convincing. Now, if you look inside, and this is where you get when you buy the encyclopedia. Um, I'm actually surprised. It came with uh, two separate things. I didn't realize this. The first thing is uh, this rather plain looking book. Now it has the uh, Assassin logo. And, uh, one thing you notice with the, uh, the stuff you get from Ubisoft for the Assassin's Creed merchandise is you see um, a lot of subtle uh, logos. Like, I'm obviously being an assassin, you're subtle. Uh, but the things like this will pop up, and I'll show you a few more of these later. Um, 
So you get um, this, and by the way, that's the Astoga logo at the back, so it's obviously made by, well, you know, you can figure it out. And what this is, is a collection of um, pages, artwork, concept designs, and back information that you get from uh, the Assassin's Creed series, so everything from the first game to um, the comics and the, uh, the animated um, uh, short film. Um, and it's very interesting. Some of these things you can find uh, via the game in-game um, database, but these are fleshed out versions as well as some alternative uh, designs. So you can see, for example, these are some armor designs and uh, I think uh, die colors. Uh, armor, that's right. So uh, this is a pretty nice thing to have. And again, they have a lot of text. This is a pretty full encyclopedia. It contains a lot of the, uh, the game and the uh, design uh, information. And uh, of course you know that Assassin's Creed is based on real history, but um, the, the series is alternate history. So you see a lot of uh, um, the, the way the universe portrays uh, the stuff in the game. So that that's an interesting read, which I'm quite interested in getting into. So I was surprised that the, the behind this, there was this uh, little secret uh, folder. I didn't see this the first time around. Uh, what it is, actually, is a bunch of, um, uh, of commissioned artwork, I think. Um, I don't know, so, so you get things like, uh, I don't know, this is a kind of a mobster assassin kind of look. Um, you know, you get all these designs from various artists. I'm not sure who they are, so if someone can, can tell me, feel free to comment below. Um, some of these look really nice, the art styles are uh, very different. So, I'm not going to show you all of these, but you know, thumbs are really good, especially, you know, this one, it's kind of my favourite. Wink, wink. Um, so, no, I'm very impressed with the, the packaging. That's, that's just the first thing I got, that's the, the, um, the encyclopedia. So that, that was an interesting buy, it was only released um, a few weeks ago, so it's brand new and it's, it's fresh off the press. So that's, that's one thing. Um, something else I got you know, um, is is this. This is um, interesting. Now, this is the, um, uh, well, it's it's a belt buckle. It's, it's based off the um, Renaissance design of the logo. So you can see uh, the leaves and the, uh, the, the assassin's um, symbol. Um, and it, like I said, it's a, it's a belt buckle, which means you need a belt, and I don't really have one I can use it on yet, but I'm trying to find one. And it clips on to the uh, the, the belt, so it forms a nice buckle, similar to what you might see into your web. Um, and again, I want to just point out the attention to detail. Um, like I mentioned before with the, the statue where it's kind of vague, it's massive produced, nothing too special about it. But when it comes to this, I mean, the, 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 the engraving is, is very fine. Okay, um, you can make the detail very clearly in this, and uh, even on the back, this is what surprised me even further. This is the back of the Eater clip, and uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's actually the uh, the the creed. Um, nothing is uh, no, nothing is true. Everything is permitted. So that's actually on the back of the the buckle. Um, I always know we'll see it's a view, and it's something that you can keep to yourself. Um, being an assassin, of course. Uh, but that was uh, an interesting pickup. Um, there are a few small things as well, like uh, when, you, when, you, when you purchase, I didn't order this, but as part of the purchase gave me some uh, some little pins, so one is uh, Ubisoft Workshop, and the other is of course the Abstergo logo, um, so you can pin these on your you know, your backpack or you know, some really nerdy place. Okay. Um, so those are, those are three of my purchases, now the, the last purchase I'm going to show you by zooming the camera across. Um, it's the uh, the hoodie, which is worn by Desmond Miles. Um, it's the white version, which is what you see in um, Brotherhood. Uh, there is a dark version as well, which is what he wears in Revelations, which I didn't order. Uh, but this is a very nice hoodie, and I want to pan across and uh, have a look. Alright, this is the hoodie. Um, it's a greyish white colour. Um, as you know, it's the assassin white colour in the Assassin's Creed universe. Um, it's uh, almost... almost pretty good. Um, I've worn it for a couple of days and it feels nice and comfortable. It's kind of warm, which is pretty nice too. It's made from 100% made polyester. Um, now, it, it at, at first glance, it doesn't look too, um, like, obviously, you know, nerdy or geeky Assassin's Creed kind of thing. Uh, but it, what I like about this hoodie, it, it's very subtle in a lot of ways. Firstly, the, the design is very plain. I mean, it looks kind of plain from here. I'm not sure if you can see it from um, the way I'm standing. Um, what you do get is uh, stitching, which is very um, symmetrical. It's plain, it's very smooth, but it's very uh, symmetrical as well. So all the patterns have this kind of uh, this modern feel, like just like you would see from uh, Desmond Miles wearing it in the, the future of uh, uh, Brotherhood. Um, 
Secondly, it comes in uh, two, uh, well, two layers. The first layer is the glossy uh, white layer. The second layer on the inside is uh, the, uh, the blood red of the assassins. Um, so when you wear it uh, partially zipped, you get this nice, um, you know, this, this nice red hood look, which is exactly what you want from the Assassin's, um, you know, uh, franchise. Um, a few subtle things, of course. Um, the, all the zips, the, this zip and, uh, you know, these zippers here, they have the Assassin logo um, kind of engraved here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so the Assassin logo is on the zips. There we go. Right. Um, now a small thing too, I like how the zips, um, they, they, they zip down to close, so when you put something in, um, you zip downwards, I know most hoodies actually have either no zips or they, they, they zip um, up to close, which I don't really like, so uh, it's actually pretty convenient, the, the pockets are um, you know, not, not that small, uh, they're nice and tight, uh, feels very comfortable to wear, okay, uh, so that's the, the front of it, the back has the uh, eagle emblem, so you can see the eagle emblem here. And um, the, the hood itself has a, a nice feature. Um, you can of course wear it over your head, which I'm putting over your head right now. And, and it has that um, Altair kind of uh, hood appearance. Uh, but it has a nice secondary function too. Now it's lacking um, a beak, uh, so it's no really cool front part because it's not Altair, it's, um, you know, it's, uh, it's Desmond. But if you unzip the top of the hood, um, the hoodie actually hangs back as a kind of a mini cape kind of thing, so it has this even, even cooler appearance. So uh, you, you, you can wear it the way you want to, and uh, again, it's a very, very cool uh, kind of outfit. So that's that's the hoodie. Um, it was uh, this is a medium size. It comes in uh, most sizes, from uh, small to uh, extra large, I think. Um, you can get it from the Ubisoft website. All right, that uh, pretty much brings me to the end of this video. Um, there were a couple of things which I didn't really mention. I probably should have. Um, one thing I said earlier was about the uh, the experience of opening up um, uh, you know, the packages and the wrapping. And the hoodie actually came in uh, a plastic wrap with the Assassin's logo on the front. And uh, I thought it was pretty cool. So that was the first thing I saw. Um, secondly, there was a tag on the hoodie. And um, I first didn't know what it was. Um, I thought it was my size, but it comes with the logo here. Uh, and on the back is the number 17. And uh, if you've played Assassin's Creed and you're watching this, you probably have. Um, you know what it means. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that that pretty much finishes the video. Um, hopefully there's some more really cool stuff coming out. I probably will buy a few more things from the UV Bookshop website. Uh, I'll be unboxing those uh, once I get them. So hey, hopefully this was interesting to you. If you were curious about buying some of the things from the Ubisoft website, um, and hopefully this would be uh, a bit of a, uh, a, a peek into uh, what you could get. So that's all from me. Have a good night, and I'll see you all next time.